in the modeling, there are now some improvements made to the Quadra tool and the multi-cut tool and the whole workflow around these two. Here I have the high resolution model of the Witcher character, the cinematics model, and I would like to create a low resolution retopologized version of that face using the Quadra tool. For that, I would go and uh, turn this into a live object. You see that live has now a little pop-up menu here, which would be a history. So whenever you've turned something into a live object, it will show up in this list here so that you can toggle between different live objects. And now I can also turn on the symmetry here, let's say in world X, and start the quadra tool and lay down points here on the chin of the character to create such a geometry. And you see close to the mirroring axis or mirroring plane, they would snap together. And then I'm doing a second row of faces. It's also actually a, a nice workflow to make larger polygons and then cut them into pieces. So let's now hold the shift key and create these polygons here. You see that these are now in a, in a symmetrical fashion. I can still grab these points here and move them around and also the edges and faces. And of course, also I can hold the control key and, and do extra cuts if I think that is necessary. So around this edge here, it would be a good idea. When I hold the tab key, I can do an extend. So extend, when I shift right mouse button, you see that you, there are various ways to do the extend, uh, either the complete border of the polygon shell or just one edge or an edge loop. So a continuous number of edges. So I'm holding the tab key now and do an extend from here and then release and do the same thing again. So I'm creating many more polygons in just a very simple, uh, simple and fast step. You see that we have improved the display of these quad draw pieces on the surface. So no longer do they sink in and disappear in the geometry. They are quite well on top of the whole thing. There are also, there's a setting for the color. You can have this in different various colors. So for example, when you, when you model on a dark blue surface, you want, of course, a different color. And all of these settings are adjustable and that is a very good sign. You also have some sort of shine through geometry way to see the whole thing. So here, for example, we see the other side of the geometry, which is helpful in some cases. So in the next example, I would like to show how you can use an existing geometry with that live workflow. Now I've turned on this geometry here, which is a is a, also a face shape that I've placed over my life surface. And you can see that I can still move it around. So it's a, it's a separate object. So let's go back to our life surface. And as I said, you can choose it now from this history of life objects. And now the geometry would be constrained to my, my object, but it's not snapping to the surface. And that for that, we have this function conform. So the conform function allows me to take this existing geometry maybe adjust the various methods The long normal is the more modern and better way to do it and also adjust the surface offset if you want to and then do the conform and then then you see the geometry snaps to the surface and i can now go into the quad draw tool using the new hotkey which is shift control and q and then i'm in the quad draw and i can can work with that. I would then switch the geometry to be topology um, geometry because we have now with this object that we are working on, this is now uh, something that we can use for, um, for symmetry. So when I place points here, hold the shift key and you see the feedback from the other side, the mirrored side of the character, you see how we create polygons on both sides. That was the wrong one here. Like so, hold the control key, do some cuts, and that happens symmetrically on both sides. Also here in the back, for example, I can do these large polygons here, make a single point over here. Like so, hold the control key, make some cuts. Together with this, uh, with a quad draw, we also have the multi-cut. And the two work now together very well. So when I hold shift and control and right mouse button, you see that the multi-cut is now in the marking menu. So if I need to cut something quickly, I jump into the multi-cut 
and I can now you know do my cuts directly on this on the on the surface here and you see how it happens on the other side so we have this shine through uh, feedback here how that thing uh, works on the other side when I when I confirm that and then I can you know shift control right mouse button go back into the quadro tool and go on with that tool so that's a very cool addition and very nice improvement to the workflow when you when you retopologize a surface one more thing then i would like to show you when we are back in object mode and turn off the life and when i hide this life object here so you've seen that i've turned it off so there's no life surface anymore and when i turn off this high resolution model and then go into the quad draw tool again using my hotkey i can now lay down points here in empty space so when i click on here and here and here to create new quads you see that these new points are now in the center of this hole so that i can really i don't need any reference object to create this geometry a hole will also already work as a as a reference you know what is the plane where you want your new points so that you don't fall back to the ground plane and the grid plane so these are nice additions to the workflow of the Quadra tool and the Multicut in Maya 2017 Update 3.